The importance of the place known locally as Mount Misery, the location of a Civil War outpost called Fort Gray, northwest of Annapolis, must be understood in the overall context of the outbreak of the Civil War. One has to understand the rapidity with which events transpired after the election of Abraham Lincoln. One of the things that is striking about Confederates, and Marylanders fall into this category, even though Maryland did not secede, is that Southerners were the only Americans who have ever undergone enemy occupation. And for the influx of these Northern troops in Annapolis and to remain here for the duration of the war, they had to have felt as if they were under siege. Um, they're under martial law, suspension of habeas corpus. So they're living in an armed camp. Everyday life is totally discombobulated. They are seeing soldiers everywhere. Oh yes, I am a southern girl in glory in the name And boasted with far greater pride than glittering wealth or fame We envy not the northern girl, her robes of beauty rare Though diamonds grace her snowy neck and pearls be decked Melissa, what news have you today? Oh, Emily, vessels are continually docking in the harbor. They say there are 8,000 troops at the naval school now. Soldiers parade all over town. And still they come. I've heard they seized the telegraph office. And they are planning to build a railroad from the naval school to the depot. Melissa, I am scared. We have been invaded by the North. Friends and neighbors have been leaving our beautiful town. Many of the houses on my street are now empty. It feels so gloomy here. Will the soldiers stay forever? We are surrounded by the enemy. Melissa, we can say nothing. We can do nothing. Will Maryland always permit this? Will she forget her former glory? Will she be conquered without a blow? I know Governor Hicks and Mayor Brown have called on Marylanders to defend our state. I wish the rebel army were here. I fear my husband is planning something. He's been meeting with his friends. Will he do something risky? I have no doubt. I overheard them talking and I saw they are no friends of Lincoln. They will be our heroes. Good Lord, has it come to this? What choice do we have? This is the only choice. Maryland is a very interesting state. Annapolis and the southern counties and the eastern shore are pro-secession. The western counties, because you don't have as deep a stake in slavery, are pro-union. And so here you have a, a conflicted governor, Thomas Hicks, who is trying to keep the state together. He is pro-union, but he realizes how strong secession sentiment is in the state. 
So he's really walking a very difficult line. It was in this dangerous situation that Lincoln ordered General Benjamin Butler, a Massachusetts Unionist Democrat who despised secessionists, a political general who had his heart in the work he was doing to occupy Annapolis and seize all the fortified areas and seize all the prominent high ground from which guns could command the transportation corridor between Annapolis and Washington. <laughs> So dear, and they've done dear Father, my last letter was from Annapolis. We left there on Monday last for this place, which is eight miles from Annapolis and 16 from Baltimore. A detachment of our regiment, numbering about 200 men, are here, engaged in throwing up an embankment on the top of a high hill, which commands a view of the surrounding country. Our duty is to watch and guard this portion of the road to Washington. We have two six-pound field pieces mounted on the hill, and we are hard at work digging and picking to more strongly fortify ourselves. Our men are about worked out. Never were men more neglected than ours have been. When we left the steamer at Annapolis, we had to sleep out on the grass with nothing to cover us but our blankets. Being without tents, our situation was exceedingly uncomfortable. We have to live more like a band of filibusters in an invaded country than like men who are in the service of their own and quartered in their own nation. Half our men have no sufficient clothing to keep them warm. We were here two days before tents were sent to us, and before we had them pitched it came on to rain, and a cold northeast storm has continued ever since. This place is between the Severn and Magothy rivers. We are in sight of both. It is a very wild place, away from all habitations, and a most beautiful place in which to be surprised. Our men have christened this place Mount Misery. There is much grumbling among us, and certainly, if we are expected to be capable of good service, more care must be taken to supply our necessary wants. If any one of us go from the encampment to the spring or elsewhere, it is considered necessary to go armed with pistol and knife. The men of this encampment would like to have some of these facts communicated to their friends through the times. I will write again soon as the weather grows a little warmer. E. From the top of, of this promontory, Viewers could look down upon Annapolis, viewers could look down upon the Severn River, viewers could look down upon the roads leading between Annapolis and Washington. They could train their guns on the area. It was absolutely vital for the defense of Washington, for the defense of the president and his cabinet, for this hill to be taken and held. And that is what troops under Benjamin Butler accomplished in the second half of April 1861 and the results were crucial to the early unfolding of the Civil War and the protection of the nation's capital. <laughs>